Hello everyone and welcome back to Agentical. Today I'm going to show you a workflow I built that runs a full SEO audit, both technical and content, just by giving it a URL. It pulls the HTML, breaks it down, analyzes it with AI, and hands you a clean report as PDF or HTML. Fully automated, no manual work. So let's dive in. Hello everyone and welcome to this short but relatively powerful workflow. So before diving in, let me show you a demo first. This is what you get at the end of this workflow. You will get an email with two separate parts. Uh, one of them is technical SEO audit and the other one is content SEO audit. And it has uh, three parts. The technical SEO audit has three parts. The critical issues with a red icon in here, quick wins with a yellow one, and opportunities to improvement with a green icon beside it. So you can just uh, categorize which one to uh, deep dive first. And for the SEO audit, you will get a content quality assessment keyword research and optimization, readability and structure, and you will get a recommendation part as well. And again, those uh, same uh, red, yellow, and green icons. So you will find out which ones to fix first. So this is what you get. And there's a PDF version of the same thing as well. And this is what you get at the end of this workflow. As I told you, it's short, but it's relatively fast. So first step, we got a form submission, which you will need to uh, pass in your URL. You want to perform the SEO audit. And next node is going to sanitize our URL, which it means sometimes people will input their URL like www or sometimes they just go like this, or sometimes they just go like this. So in this node, we are sanitizing and normalizing the URL. Whatever form user uh, inputs their URL, this node will take care of it. It will output a standard HTTPS version of that URL. In this node, we are using browserless to uh, scrape websites for a bulletproof scraping. Uh, the only thing that you need to do is to pass in your token or your API key, and you will find your API key in the uh, browserless.io. So as soon as you sign up, you will see this screen, and here's your API key. You can just copy this and come back and put it in your workflow. And next thing, we are passing the URL value from the sanitized URL node that we got here. So it's always in a nice and clean format like this, HTTPS. So uh, no errors, no, no back and forth, uh, come back to the uh, browserless uh, URL endpoints. And we, are going to trim this HTML by main CSS selectors or the body. If none of them found, we will throw an error. Why do we do this? Because uh, we are uh, trying to trim HTML, so we send less tokens to our LLM. So uh, it'll help a lot. And this is where the magic happens. So for the technical audit, we are going to do uh, like audits like uh, meta tags, schema, page speed, and etc. And we are going to do a content audit as well, which some some things like uh, keywords, tone, readability, and those kind of thing. And we got a beautiful, well structured prompt in here. We got a role. We got a scope for our audits. How do we like our audits to be done? 
and an output format and some formatting rules in here and we are passing our HTML as well. I am not going to read this whole thing. You can just download this workflow. I'll leave a link in the description. Download it, get it up and running and read this whole thing for yourself or you may need to change it. You might not ever need to change it as well, but uh, you can just uh, take a look at it. And next up, we got the content audit. Again, same thing. We got a role. We got the scope or the analysis that we want to do in here and an output, a recommendation output and those kind of thing. Formatting, formatting guidelines and... Uh, again, passing our HTML as well. So we are combining those, cleaning our HTML from all those kind of things that might your LLM put on the output. Those kind of thing that doesn't belong to HTML, we are going to clean that because we want to have a clean, beautiful HTML. And again, we are using browserless, but this time, with a different endpoint. This time we are asking browserless to uh, create us a PDF file. And we are asking it to uh, create us a PDF file from our HTML that we got in here. The cleaned version of our HTML, we are passing it to uh, browserless endpoints. It'll come back to you with a PDF file it's not the most beautiful PDF file, but uh, it works. So uh, we got a Gmail node in here to send the um, audit report. And here's the subject, full SEO audit of the URL. For example, full SEO audit of HTTPS www.agentico.ai. And we are sending the HTML, the cleaned HTML, and putting the time at the end of our email. So audited at like this. And we are sending an attachment as well, which is our PDF. So we got our PDF and we got our HTML sent to that email. And so what this code does, if you have a binary data on NA10, it should be always on one node behind. For example, in here, I want to upload my PDF to my Google Drive, but our PDF is three nodes behind. So you cannot just call this, right? So with this line of code, we are basically copying this binary data to this node. And now you can use it on your next node, which is your Google Drive. So on Google Drive, we are um, uploading our PDF, which with the input data name of data, we are passing it in here. And for the file name, we are using the URL and SEO audit. And we are saving it on our Google Drive under the folder of SEO audits. So everything is categorized, tidy up. Everything is super, super clean. And the last thing in here is to show the user the URL of the PDF that we just saved on our uh, Google Drive. So... It works like this. Let me run this workflow once more to see how it works. Let me actually use another uh, URL. Resource Boy is a pretty good comprehensive free Photoshop resource that you can use. I, I use it a lot and I love it honestly. So it just popped up on my mind and I just put it over there. So we got our 
uh, Google Drive URL in here. Let's just copy this. Let's open it up. And we got our SEO audit in here. So again, we got the technical SEO and we got the content SEO audits in here. And as I told you, this is not the most beautiful PDF, but at least we got a PDF and it's nice formatted. It's uh, well structured, but it's not beautiful to be honest, which it's okay to me. So, yep, there you have it. This is a automated SEO audit workflow. It's a handy tool to have it on your bag. And uh, thank you for coming along to the end of this video. See you on the next one. Thank you.